Peter, off and running as Barnet manager, must be delighted for that. Uh, more delighted with the reaction and the sort of, uh, you know, from from Saturday really, because like I said, it took a, a big performance to come back from Saturday. Um, but the lads have showed the character that, that we we knew they had. We, we had faith in what they had, the character-wise, and and they've dug in today and they've got um, a thoroughly deserved three points. It, you said that it was all about a reaction in the build-up. Did you get that reaction? Without a doubt, we certainly, I certainly think we did. I think if people uh, had a chance to watch the game, then uh, I thought we were we certainly weren't the, the weaker of the two teams throughout the game. I thought we we had good spells in the game. I was disappointed at half time with the goal again, a set piece. Um, it was a, a fairly simple set piece, so disappointed with that at half time. But I thought, you know, we, we both thought at the time at half time that we had a if we kept going the way we were going, we would get chances. Um, and uh, that happened second half. I thought we were very much on the front foot second half, and and um, the players kept going and kept going. And what was really nice was after we got the equaliser, we didn't sit back on that. We went for the win, and and, and, and we thoroughly deserved that win. I think tonight. You mentioned the disappointment of conceding the goal, but defensively, a lot more sound this evening. I thought Ben Nugent and Matt Preston had a great game. We, uh, you know, they've, they've, they've coped with um, a very, a very um, potent strike force tonight in McCallum and Belanti, um, and they will score goals this year. And they'll both be in double figures, no doubt, um, but they very rarely got a sniff. Um, obviously, Belanti got the goal from the set piece, but it wasn't from open play. Um, and I think. As, as we said, we're a work in progress, and you know we were disappointed with Saturday. On reflection, you know maybe it wasn't a five-one in the way we've looked at the game, and maybe it didn't quite go our way with certain things that dropped in areas for them. Um, so maybe the performance wasn't as bad as we first thought. After I mean, the result obviously stands out, and but tonight, you know, again we've got better again, and, and we will be, and we will constantly get better um, as the season goes on. The lads will get fitter; they'll get used to playing one another. And, uh, and it'll be, um, like I said, it'll be nice to see them develop and flourish. And obviously when Josh comes back uh, and obviously Mickey comes into the squad this week um, and hopefully we can add maybe one or two more. Um, and, and before you know it, we'll have, you know, we'll have a, a full squad where there's competition for every place. And that's what we need if we're going to be competitive. And, uh, but the boys will enjoy the work they're doing and they've, they've thoroughly enjoyed tonight. And like I said, it was a, they thoroughly deserve the pat on the back tonight because like I said, to come back from Saturday and to come and do this here at this place, uh, it's, it's a big, a big, uh, a big boost for us. Um, we mentioned one end there, up the other end. JJ gets his goal from the penalty spot and a, yep. a great strike from Elliot to win you the game. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've just said, you know, JJ I felt was uh, not quite a full tilt on Saturday, um, and as every forward knows, you know, you earn your goals, and I think tonight he's earned his goal tonight. You know, from the penalty spot or whatever, it doesn't matter. He stood up and took it. Um, but his work rate was fantastic tonight. And Elliot's, Elliot's got quality. We, that's why he's here, because I know him, I trust him. He's got quality, he's played in the Football League and, and he showed his quality tonight. I mean, I thought his performance all round was, was very good. But to top it off with a goal and the winning goal at that was, was should be, again, another big boost and a big confidence boost for him. Um, mentally, how big is it for the boys to get off the mark after Saturday to come here and get a really good three points? Uh, yeah, I mean... I, we, we spoke in the, before the game and said that most importantly it's performance. Get the performance right. And, and we did that tonight. And, and had, it, had we gone through the game and finished at 1-1, I still would have been happy with the performance. But to get the three points as well, that's a massive step forward um, for them uh, as a group because that will bring them closer together again. Um, and that's what we want. We want everybody fighting for the cause and everybody being proud to put on the Barnet shirt and go out there and play with a bit of pride and, and go and play for one another. And just lastly, a quick turnaround before we make the trip to Notts County on Saturday, but the boys will be bouncing in training now. Yeah, we, we've got to look after them now, make sure that, because obviously we haven't got the biggest of squads at the moment, but we're hopefully, we'll have them two new additions for Saturday, as in Mickey and, and Josh hopefully will both be fit and ready to go. Um, and then obviously it's Matt making sure we maintain the, the fitness of the other lads that have played 90 tonight because there aren't many out there that have played a 90. So, uh, so like I said, so it's about management now and keeping them fresh and ready to go Saturday.